Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 13th chapter, text number 3, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July 22nd, 1976, in London, England. Kheetrakhanchapi Manavidhi Sarva Khetreshu Bharata Chetra Chetra Gaya Gyaram Krishna has spoken about the Khetraga. Khetraga means the knower of the body. Uh, as he has already explained that I know that this is my finger. I never say I finger. So this body is Khetraga, the field of activity. And the soul is the proprietor or worker within the body. That is called Khetraga. This is already explained. He tried to explain because there are many ladies. So he tried to explain in Hindi. <coughs> so, here in the next verse, Krishna says, Khetraganchapi Manavidhi. I am also Khetraganga. I am also one of the knowers of the body. So what is the difference between the one khetra God let me explain the soul and this khetra God, Krishna? What is the difference between the two? That is explained here. Krishna says that I am also Khetraga. Khetraga Chapi Maan Vidhi. Sarva Khetri Subhar. But the distinction is that the individual soul is situated in that particular body, but I am situated in every body, all pervading. Sometimes they commit mistake that Atma and Paramatma, they are the same. But that is not the fact. Here Krishna explains very distinctly that I am also Atma, but I am Paramatma. That is the distinction between God and our when Arjuna understood Bhagavad Gita, he addressed Krishna, Param Dhamma, Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram Paramam Bhava, Param Brahma. They are anxious to realize Brahma, that I am Brahmasmi. Ahang Brahmasmi does not mean that I am Parabrahma. I am individual, part and parcel of Brahma. Similarly, Atma, Paramatma, Ishara, Parameshara. We should understand this distinction between Atma, Paramatma, Brahma, Param Brahma, Ishara, Parameshara. So in the Vedic literature it is said, Ishara, Parama, Krishna. Ishara, Ishara means controller. Every one of us 
we are controllers. Either I control over my family or in my office or in my country. In this way, everyone is a controller. I may be a controller, not maybe in my limited jurisdiction. I am also controller, you are also controller. So I may be a little greater controller, you may be smaller controller, and somebody may be greater than me. In this way, if you study controller, different types of controller, you will find there is junior and senior. The same person is senior controller uh, in the family, but in the office is a junior controller. The same person is junior and senior at the same time. Somewhere he is junior, somewhere he is senior. In this way, if you study all different types of controller, you will see there is duality of controls. But when you approach somebody that he is simply controller, he is not by control by others. That is Krishna. This is analytical study of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, so they have studied all these Vedic scholars, especially Lord Brahma. This is the statement of Lord Brahma. Not only Lord Brahma, that they, Narod, and recently <coughs> big big acharya, Ramanu acharya, Madhya acharya, Nimbarka, Vishnu Shami, even Sankara acharya, and latest, five hundred years ago, Lord Chaitanya, everyone has accepted Krishna as the supreme controller. Uh, and in the dictionary you will find what is religion. Religion means to accept a supreme controller. That is religion. So in the Srimad Bhagavatam also it is said, Dharman to Sāsāt Bhagavat Pranitam. Dharma means the controlling uh, laws given by God. That is called dharma. Uh, the real dharma from all Vedic scriptures, from the person of all authority, it is confirmed that Ishara Parama Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Controller. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <coughs> so this Krishna Consciousness movement means that uh, we are presenting Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Every religion has conception of God, but no religious system in this world has got any clear conception of God. But in this Krishna Consciousness movement, it is not actually a so-called religious movement, but it is an educational movement to give information to the human society about God, that here is God. You are searching after God, 
and somebody in disappointment saying that God is dead. God is neither dead nor it is fictitious, but it is factual. And here is this God, Krishna. Krishna to Bhagavan Sam. This is the body of the Vedic literature. There may be many other gods. They are expansion of the original personality of Godhead. If anyone is interested to study the science of God, we find it in the Vedic literature how <coughs> Krishna expands by his plenary portions in different uh, names of God. It is confirmed in the Mamma Sangita. Advaita Yachyuta Anadi Ananta Rupam. That absolute truth is Advaita without any duality. Achyuta infallible. Advaita Yachyuta Anadi. Everything has got its beginning. Uh, anything is. That is our material conception. Uh, because we have got the experience, anything we take, it has got a being. But Krishna, he described Advaita Yachyutra Anadi. He has no being. And in another place, it is also said, Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarva Karana Karam. Karana is the beginning. So, just like my father is the cause of my personality, father, uh, his father is the cause of his personality. In this way, you try to find out the cause of the cause, he finds Krishna as the cause of all causes. Sarva karana karana. Everything must be caused by something. Cause and effect. So, the Shastra gives the body that Krishna is the cause of all causes. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Adi Govinda Sarvakarana Khan. So this is institution, Krishna consciousness movement. We have started. Now we have opened the center. I am very glad that you are coming here, but study. The science of Krishna. Don't remain blind. The science of Krishna means science of God. The human life is meant for understanding the science of God. Adhata Brahma Jignasa. This is the Vedanta Sutra. This human form of life is meant for inquiring ab about the Absolute Truth, Brahma. <coughs> that Brahma, for a Brahma, is Krishna. Therefore, when Arjuna studied Bhagavad Gita, his conclusion was, he addressed immediately Krishna. Parabrahma Paramadhama Pavitram Paramam Bhavan Bhavan yourself. So don't waste your time even by minute. Try to understand the science of Krishna. That is the only business. Uh, other business, they are subsidiary. They are not very important business. 
Why Krishna understanding is important, Miss Nan? Because it will give you liberation from this material conditional life. We are foolishly thinking. We are very independent. We can do whatever we like. But that is not the fact. The fact is we are completely dependent on the laws of material nature. Even if you defy a little bit, ah, immediately he will be punished. That is the strict laws of nature. David Jesa Gunavai. Mama Maya Duratya. So we do not understand. There is no education throughout the whole world. How we are being controlled by the material nature and why we are being controlled. Why we are put into this position of being controlled. These questions should be raised. That is human life. Otherwise, it is animal life. The cats and dogs, they cannot inquire why I am being controlled. But they agree to be controlled. But a human life, they are struggling, they are called struggle for existence. They are trying to overcome the control of material nature by so-called scientific method. But that is not the way. You cannot do that. They will desha guna mai mama maya bhutaya. That's like that so-called scientific way. They are trying to go to the uh, moon planet or Mars, Mars planet. Why they are trying to go? Because they are controlled. They have got that flying machine. They can go to any planet, but they cannot because they have been controlled. So we should come to our senses that we cannot bring the laws of material nature under our control. We are already under the control of the laws of material nature. And that is our conditional life. <coughs> Actually, we require freedom <coughs> from conditional life, but that freedom can be achieved when we surrender to Krishna. Daivi jesa gunamai mama maya dhudutraya māmi mada prapadyante māyā mītāna karanti. If you actually want to be, not to be controlled by the laws of material nature, that you can do, that is possible. And that is possible simply by understanding Krishna. So we are presenting this philosophy of Krishna consciousness. It is not a manufactured thing. We are quoting from Bhagavad Gita the same thing. <coughs> We are not presenting something manufactured. There is no need, because things in perfection is already there in the Bhagavad Gita. There is no need of manufacturing by fools and rascals. There is no need. Everything is there in perfection. Simply we have to accept it and apply it in practical life, then our life will be successful. Uh, simply you have to understand it. Uh, Krishna says, Janma Padmam Chadivam Me Jujanati Sattva. Simply to understand Krishna as He is. Uh, then, uh, Jujanati Sattva. Anyone who is able to understand Krishna 
in truth that what is the result? <coughs> the result is tattādvehaṁ punaṁ janmanaiti māmeti gaudriya. Such person, after giving up this body, he does not accept another material body. At the present moment we are giving up one material body and accepting another material body. Tathādvehāntara prāpti dhīra sattva namayyatu. This is our conditional life. But we are kept in such dense darkness of knowledge that you are thinking, that you are free, we can do whatever we like. Ah, this is very dangerous civilization. No knowledge of the spiritual life, no knowledge how the soul is my stands migrating from one body to another. No knowledge what is the future, no knowledge what is the goal of life. Simply like cats and dogs, you dance, eat, drink, be merry and die. That's all. This is not good life. You must be very serious, especially those who are Indian. They should take it very seriously. Because this Krishna culture, Bhagavad Gita, was spoken in the battlefield of Kurukshetra in India. And we, we Indians, we do not take full advantage of this great transcendental knowledge, then you are committing suicide. Ah. So my request is all the Indians who are here in this foreign country, keep your own original culture. Don't forget. Ah. Don't be bewildered. Be in your position. Try to understand. It is very easy. Bhagavad Gita is not at all difficult to understand. And we have tried to explain uh, as easy as possible. Uh, not that we have deviated from the original verse. So, uh, if you want to understand Krishna through science and philosophy, Read this book. Otherwise, very easy method. Come here. Chant Hare Krishna. That's all. Thank you very much. Yeah.